We turn now to California. The owner of that dive boat that caught fire and sank near Santa Barbara this week, killing 34, spoke out about the disaster today. Chris Van Cleve reports the owner is aggressively defending the actions of his crew as we learn more about what happened. The crew is having a very difficult time. Speaking for the first time, Glenn Fitzler, the owner of the Conception, says as the fire raged on the boat's second level, his crew tried to save the passengers trapped below. He claims the captain stayed until the very last moment. They said that they could see Jerry jump from the upper deck and that there was a trail of smoke following him. They thought he was on fire. Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown now says it appears the 34 people killed died of smoke inhalation before the fire reached their sleeping quarters. Investigators are also looking into whether the crew was asleep when the fire started. The boat is required to have a roaming night watchman. An ATF team of fire specialists are now part of the investigation. Is that any reason to think that this has moved into more of a criminal investigation than an accident investigation? We are looking to determine what happened. A criminal element to that is always a possibility, but uh, at this point, no one has been charged criminally. Painstaking salvage operations are underway to recover the burnt remains of the boat from about 65 feet of water. Divers also hope to locate the one body still unaccounted for. The grief remains overwhelming for those left behind. Vicki Moore lost her partner, Scott Chan, a high school physics teacher, and her 26-year-old daughter, Kendra, a wildlife biologist. Both of them shared a passion for the natural world and, and this intense curiosity. I'm grateful for all the time I had with her and just wish there was more. <laughs> yeah. And Chris joins us now, and I know more of the victims were identified today. What do we know about them? Nora, we know they range in age from their teens to their 60s. They come from across California and around the world, as far away as Singapore and India. Many of them had been on this boat before. As for the effort to raise the boat, it is a delicate process that requires the weather to cooperate. It could take days, even weeks. Nora? Chris, thank you so much.